Uh, she's uh, with uh, severe pain right now, lying down. May I help you with something? Uh, if you check the, the records, you will see that she uh, has me as the legal representative who can speak on her I behalf. Don't see any legal, uh, paperwork on that, but okay, so you can check and come back when you see it. Are you her power of attorney? No, I'm her daughter, Professor Solange Martinez. And I'm sorry, what was your uh, name? Lisa. Lisette, okay. That's I can give you my number. She can call me back. Uh, no, she's uh, with severe uh, back pain right now. I don't think she's going to call you back. She might be rushed to the emergency room. I'm sorry? She might be rushed to the emergency room, but uh, Lisbeth? Lisbeth? No, because she was told that she was going to be assassinated at that uh, hospital by the illegal aliens mafia. So I don't think she's going to go to that hospital. You are from Strong, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, do you know about the uh, federal law that is being filed by Luisa Oyarzun against uh, state employees for discrimination, uh, attempted murder, yes. and other uh, federal offenses? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. That's not what I'm calling about. Um, Judy Zeman referred her to us as a state employee, and she's not for either um, applying for Medicaid and or looking into whether she had insurance. Mm -hmm. I just want to let her know that she does have insurance. What insurance does she have? She has Medicare A and B. Uh, no, she doesn't have Medicare A and B. That's why the uh, uh, federal lawsuit was filed because the Medicare B for her is a result of fraud and it is committed by an illegal aliens mafia member working for the state uh, whose name is Kevin McGuire, and he signed her up for uh, Medicare Part B, even though Medicare Part B only covers about 20% of her medical treatment. She needs her um, uh, New York State straight Medicaid back, uh, which is uh, 10 years old or 14 years old, and uh, he needs to stop selling her Medicaid to illegals uh, and illegal aliens mafia member, members. Okay, well, so, Lisbeth, what was your last name? You didn't mention it? Um, you can, I can give you my number, and you can call me back. Is there, is there, uh, is there a, a reason why you're refusing to fully identify yourself? Because you, you work for the government, for the state government, right? And I, I understand that um, government employees are forced by law to fully identify their names upon request. Is there a reason why you are not doing so? I only get my first name out. I don't have any authorization from you or any paperwork indicating uh, who you are and who am I, I'm speaking to. Okay, so you can check with the, uh, with the hospital and uh, check the legal document that she signed. Uh, naming me as her legal representative uh, when it comes to the hospital paperwork, and you can call me back. What was your number you said you were going to give it to me? 275 mm -hmm. Working closely with Judy Zeman Golden mm -hmm. from Buda Cancer Center. Yes. Uh, so uh, you can uh, delete that um, medical insurance, which is uh, fraud, uh, because she never signed up for Medicare Part B. And as you and I know, you cannot sign somebody up for Medicare Part B without their consent. I can't delete it because it's already in the system. That's not what my job consists of. What I'm calling you about is that Judy made a referral mm -hmm. so that we can help her with finding insurance. Okay. Yes, uh, as I understand, right. Judy made the referral, uh, applied for her New York State straight Medicaid so she can get her medical uh, treatment, which she hasn't been getting for the last five years, and that's why her immune system has uh, collapsed, and she got uh, infections like shingles and um, chronic infections, other chronic infections, which uh, were not treated because uh, she was told that she didn't have her New York State straight Medicaid. Okay, 
Okay, but she has Medicare A and B. No, as I said to you three times already, I believe, uh, she doesn't have Medicare because she never signed up for it. That was the result of a fraud uh, committed by uh, illegal aliens mafia member Kevin McGuire, who is a trafficker of citizens' identities and government benefits. And that's why she filed the federal lawsuit against this elderly uh, financial abuse, fraud, and um, a medical uh, falsification of records. As you know, a Medicare is uh, part of Medicare Part B is part of the um, federal records uh, of our country, and uh, it was falsified because she never signed up for Medicare Part B. She has changed it three times at least, and they always put her back uh, in there, and they always say, "Oh." Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to change it back. Uh, and she signed the paperwork and uh, filled out the application to change it back, uh, but they never do. And we have interviewed other citizens uh, that uh, are going through the, same through the same thing, and they too say that their uh, federal and state um, records have been falsified. They don't have access to their um, records. Uh, as Luisa Yasun uh, doesn't have access to hairs. And uh, every time they go, they say the same thing. Oh, we're going to change it back. And when they uh, realize, it's not changed. Does she go to Social Security to talk about that? Or where yes, I'm talking, I'm, talk I'm talking about Social Security specifically okay. because government employees at the Social Security office across the country have been uh, trafficking with citizens' identities and government benefits, and they have been blocking the citizens from seeing their own data, their own information. And when the citizens go there to the office to change uh, Medicare Part B, which is uh, uh, um, uh, medical uh, insurance that you signed up for, they find that uh, they uh, are signed up for that, and when they go there to change it, they said, well, okay, we're going to change it, sign here, and they never do. So millions of USA citizens are going through the same thing right now. This is uh, called trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits, and it's a federal offense. So when she goes to Social Security, what do they tell her? Do they tell her she can go ahead and use her Medicare? Uh, no, they tell her, oh, I'm sorry, uh, they signed, her, signed you up for Medicare, Medicare. Um, uh, sign here, and they, we will take you off. And they have done that three times, and they never take it off uh, of Medicare Part B because they have been making a lot of millions with her name and uh, medical insurance. They have people, uh, according to my research, my 15 years research, uh, at nursing homes with her medical insurance, her New York State straight Medicaid, and also uh, at uh, different hospitals being treated with uh, venereal diseases and other things. So they're not going to change it if uh, somebody doesn't force them to because they are professional criminals. They're a trafficker of citizens' identities and government benefits. I can't uh, tell you the last date that uh, I received the document uh, saying that they were going to change that and of course, they always say, oh, oh, wow, this is the first time that we see this, that you cannot access your Social Security Administration Office's records uh, with your personal data and government benefits, and that you also were changed, uh, you, you were signed up for an insurance without uh, your knowledge or consent and without the person having a power of attorney. Uh, signed by you. We're going to change it, and then they turn around and they don't, they don't change it. So uh, let me just get the paper so I can tell you the exact date. Hold on. The last time that she's uh, changed the record, uh, I took her in person, even though uh, she had uh, severe back pain and uh, she was chronically ill. Uh, we drove for approximately two hours to the Vetavia um, Social Security Administration Office uh, location, and it was April 12, 2016. It was, uh, she filled out a request for termination of premium hospital and or supplementary medical insurance. According to uh, USA law, uh, 1818 ac 2 b uh, And uh, 
the Federal Regulation 1838B, and they did not change anything. They were just making believe that they were changing uh, the records. And this is okay. one of many times that they do that. Okay. But I, 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 you know, I apologize. I cannot help you with any legal uh, issues. What is it that I, you think I can do for you? Well, uh, uh, listing the record that uh, she never signed up for Medicare Part B, that uh, it is illegal for her to have a Medicare Part B because she never signed up for it, and that's uh, insurance yes. fraud. And the person who signed her off for it doesn't have what you mentioned. You know what you requested of me, that I'm her daughter? Uh, uh, power of attorney. So the it's, is the, is the, is the, is the result of a fraud. Do you have that paperwork? Excuse me? The paperwork yeah. is in the, in the University of Rochester um, uh, system, computer system. You can find it there. And if not, you can uh, you can get it from the Pluter Cancer Center, where your friend uh, Judy uh, is. The social worker Judy Zeman Golden. Yes. Mm -hmm. The social worker. Yes. And also, okay. uh, just uh, for the record, she hasn't been able to get the medications uh, and the medical treatment that she was supposed to get uh, for five years. So her cancer came back uh, a third time in the form of lung cancer, and she hasn't been able to get uh, the um, calcium that she needs to get. Uh, uh, I, I think it's 12, uh, no, 1,500 milligrams per day. She hasn't been able to get the um, uh, medication that uh, makes her um, uh, blood uh, uh, the way we're supposed to get. Uh, and she hasn't been able to get many medications because she doesn't have her New York State strain Medicaid. So her okay. immune system is collapsed. Can I something, please? Um, how long has she received Social Security benefits? Okay, when I'm not going to get into that, the Social Security benefits, because you're going to tell me, no, she has to get Medicare. She doesn't have to get Medicare because Medicare is so for people is who are so not chronically ill. It is. Once you're on Social Security for two years, you're automatically signed up for Medicare. No, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, Dr. Uh, Gore is uh, located at Fort Washington Avenue uh, in Manhattan, New York, New York, wrote a letter stating that she was a chronically ill patient and that she needed her New York State straight Medicaid because as the U.S. law states, it limits her to have her in another insurance. And that's why she has been dying uh, until she collapsed and dies, because her New York State trade Medicaid was stolen and sold to illegals in the country, and illegal aliens mafia if, members. I, I already you, consulted with a civil law attorney, a civil rights attorney, and Department of uh, a Social Services attorney. All three told me that she has to have New York State trade Medicaid because it limits her not to have her Medicaid, and she cannot visit the specialized doctors that she has to visit or buy the medication that she has to have to stay alive uh, if she doesn't have New York State straight Medicaid. If you want to say something else, you can say it until you turn blue, but that's not going to change the law, and it's not going to change the reality. All right, well, um, I'm going to refer you back to Judy then because at this point, um, I don't know what I can help you with. Um, I, I can tell you. So you don't have to refer me back to her. You can get her New York State trade Medicaid back. I cannot do that. Um, Why? Why not? Again, once you've been on Social Security benefits for two years, you're That's incorrect information. That's for people who are not chronically ill. We discussed this before. Has anyone applied for Medicaid in the county that she's residing in? She, yes, uh, she did. I took her there even though she was uh, uh, chronically ill. I took her there in person even though she has a letter from uh, her doctors saying that she's homebound and she's chronically ill and they have to do everything over the phone for her. 
I took her there. I signed her off on Medicaid. Uh, we filled out the application. And, and then as, uh, as the uh, Westchester County Department of Social Services processed her Medicaid application and other government benefits and sold them to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members. What county did you apply in? Livingston County. Okay, so there is a Medicaid application pending there. No, it's not pending. They say that they were not going to give her any benefits because she belongs to the Westchester County Department of Social Services. Uh, and even though she doesn't live uh, there, she lives in Livingston County, it is okay for uh, Kevin McGuire, an illegal aliens mafia member who uh, falsified her Medicare information, to continue to sell her Medicare, me, Medicaid and other government benefits there, even I, though she doesn't I live there. Call Westchester County and tell them she's not residing in Westchester. She's residing in Livingston. We already uh, did that, and they hung up on me uh, on us seven times approximately. We also faxed them a document saying that uh, she doesn't live there anymore and that uh, her case should be closed after two months of living here, and they refused because they are selling her name and uh, social security benefits and uh, social security number to illegal aliens mafia members there, and they're making a lot of money with the taxpayer's money, of course, courtesy of the what, taxpayer's money. What you can do is, in Livingston County, show proof of residence that she's living there so that can, they can proceed with the Medicaid case in Livingston County. I already did that. Uh, we took the landlord's uh, um, um, form that they asked her to fill out. They uh, processed the, uh, the, the government benefits for her and the Medicaid benefits for her and sold it to illegals in here. She's also registered to vote here in Livingston County, and her um, information, her address is also changed to, Livington, to her Livingston, Livingston County address in the uh, USA Post Office, the federal database. So uh, it is more than proven that she lives in uh, Livingston County and she has residency here, and the Livingston County Department of Social Services uh, Commissioner, Ms. Dane, uh, is refusing to give her her benefits. Instead, she's continuing to sell her benefits to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members here in the country. Okay, so is there anything that you think I can do for you? Yes, uh, process the application for her New York State spread Medicaid and give it to her since she qualifies for it. So she can get the medication that she hasn't gotten for the last five years that made her immune system well, almost the non-existent. The county, though, I, I, I work for Strong Hospital assisting with uh, filling out the applications, but I cannot process an application. And if there is already a case pending in either county, the only thing you need to do is follow up with the counties. The problem is that the county is trafficking with citizens' identities and government benefits, and they are selling the benefits to illegal aliens across the country with uh, her name and information. Because yes. Kevin McGuire, the illegal aliens member who signed her up for Medicare uh, to cover up for his trafficking of her New York State trade Medicaid, uh, is, is... That's not something that I can get involved in. Okay, I understand. Okay. So, um, again, I will run this uh, situation by Judy. Mm -hmm. um, th what my advice to you is to follow up again with both counties and just keep proving that she's living in Livingston County. Yes. In the meantime, what what am I what do I do with her health because she needs the medication and she needs to to visit the special uh, doctors specialty doctors. Yes, Judy, Judy told me that she cannot help her in, in any way, shape, or form. Okay, then I'm going to get in contact with Judy again, like I said, because I don't think we're going to resolve this in one conversation. No, we're not going to resolve it in one conversation or in, in ten conversations, because okay. if she has been persecuted by the illegal aliens mafia, obviously nobody's working, nobody working for the system is going to help her. 
They have not helped the millions of citizens that have been persecuted by the illegal aliens mafia and have been um, died, have been dying uh, for lack of medical care and uh, lack of resources when their identities and government benefits were stolen. She's telling me that she received a letter uh, from the Department of Social Services uh, Commissioner, uh, the trafficker of citizens' identities and government benefits, Kevin McGuire, and who falsified her um, Medicare records and federal records and signed her up for for Medicare, which Medicare told me, uh, yes, he was the one who signed her up for, for that. Uh, by the way, and he he sent her a letter saying that uh, the case was closed there. So she's telling me to tell you that uh, because she's lying down uh, next to me, and I'm telling you that so you know that for the record. Okay. So can I? I am going to con recontact Judy and um, see what it is we can do. The only thing I can offer you is to continue contacting the both counties. Yes, the problem is that nothing. I have been contacting both county uh, yes, counties for the last right. two months and a half, and I have been contacting Westchester County for the last ten years. But it's not, it hasn't done anything, and it, it hasn't made any difference. They're not going to the traffickers of citizens' identities and government benefits at the Social Security Administration offices and at the uh, Department of Social Services in Westchester County okay. and in Livingston County. They're not going to stop trafficking of citizens' identities for me. Ma'am, ma'am, thank you for the information. I get what you're saying. Um, let's contact Judy and see where we go from here, okay? Okay, thank you.